Hi guys, what's up? Toba Loco here, and today we've got another one star scenario, a World Cup, and uh, this time it's with uh, Croatia. I've seen it being uh, asked in the comments for quite a while, um, so let's do Croatia. Um, pretty strong team, they announced their squad um, a few days ago, and it does look pretty strong. I'm, I'm pretty sure that if, um, with a little bit of luck, um, you know, and some good play, Croatia might actually get somewhere in the World Cup. I hope so, anyway, because I do like them. Anyway, they're in a group with uh, Somalia, St. Kitts and Papua New Guinea. Quite a nice looking group there, quite a nice and easy one, hopefully, for Croatia. Let's see if Croatia can um, win the One Star World Cup. Right, let's get into this. Okay, so the first match is against Somalia. And um, I don't think I've, I've actually done a match versus Somalia before. So um, we'll see how that goes. Um, let's have a look and see if Croatia can beat Somalia. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so it's a 2 0 victory, a victory nonetheless, but I feel that Croatia could have got more against Somalia, maybe, I don't know. But let's have a look at their second match, it's against New Guinea. Let's see if Croatia can beat New Guinea. Okay, uh, only a 1-0, that's really surprising. Um, they should be beating them higher than that. You would think a team like Croatia would have um, absolutely battered New Guinea, but, you know, this is this game and it likes to throw surprises at us. Um, okay, so that last match they are through is against St. Kitts. Let's see if Croatia can beat St. Kitts and Nevis. Will St. Kitts and Nevis have something up their car, up their sleeves? No, no, it was 4 0 to Croatia, which means they had literally nine points, three wins out of three, straight through to uh, the round of 16. So, Group A, Croatia top it with Papua New Guinea in uh, second. Group B, St. Vincent and St. Lucia go through. A group C, Chad and Afghanistan go through. Group D, uh, Taiwan and the Seychelles go through. Group E, Nicaragua and Luxembourg go through. Group F, Niger and Liechtenstein. Uh, group G, Malta and Grenada go through. And Group H, again, India topping that group. And the Faroe Islands in second. So that sets up a round of 16 scenario for Croatia versus uh, St. Lucia. Uh, Chad versus the Seychelles. Uh, St. Vincent versus Papua New Guinea, uh, Taiwan versus Afghanistan, Nicaragua versus Liechtenstein, Malta versus Faroe Islands, Niger versus uh, Luxembourg, and India versus Grenada. So let's see if Croatia can make their way through this one star World Cup. Their next match is against St. Lucia, the little Caribbean island. Let's see if St. Lucia can stop Croatia, or can Croatia march on to the quarterfinals. Let's have a look. Okay, it looks like they did get through. I'd like to see how much they won by. It was a 5-0 uh, win. Pretty easy for Croatia then. They're in the quarterfinals against Chad. Let's see if Chad can stop Croatia, or will Croatia win uh, the quarterfinals and advance to the semis? Let's have a look. Okay, I thought it was going to like say they got knocked out, but that's another 5-0, so they've scored 10 goals in two games. Chad got destroyed by Croatia. Um, let's see who they're against in the semi-finals. It's against the Faroe Islands. Can the Faroe Islands stop Croatia, or will Croatia march on to the finals? Let's have a look and see. Right, so it was 5-1, so that's 15 goals in three games, though they did concede one against the Faroes. Um, but still a really good result. I have a feeling India are in the final. I think I have a feeling they are. No, it's St. Vincent. It's either one of the two. It's either St. Vincent or India that go to the final. They're, they're like the best one-star teams on the game, according to the game. Um, let's see if Croatia can beat St. Vincent, or will St. Vincent take the title home for the one-star nations? No, nope, Croatia won it 5-0, so they scored like 20 goals in probably the most impressive um, side I've seen against um, one-star teams, actually, Croatia. They've actually, apart from like that little 1-0 against uh, Papua New Guinea, they didn't draw against anybody. 
and they smashed everybody. Um, yeah, really well done to Croatia there. Let's advance to the awards. Top goal scorer, Olic, with uh, nine goals. Best player, Olic, and uh, Petty Kosa, the best goalkeeper. I think that's actually the highest goal tally I've seen in the One Star World Cup as well, which which is nine. I don't think I've ever seen it exceed like into double figures. But let's see how it went down. Obviously, we know Croatia's results, so we'll just avoid those. Uh, reading left down, Liechtenstein beat Nicaragua 2-1. Faroe Islands beat Malta 2-1, and then Faroe Islands went on to beat Liechtenstein 1-0, and then obviously lost against Croatia in the semis, and then Croatia went on to win the final. But there is some uh, uh, silver lining for Faroe Islands. They did beat Niger in the uh, third place playoff uh, 2-0, so that means Faroes are third, Niger are fourth, St. Vincent second, Croatia obviously first. Let's see how it went down on the right side of the tree. Uh, Niger beat Luxembourg 1-0. India beat Granada 1-0. Uh, St. Vincent beat uh, Papua New Guinea 5-4 on pens. And Afghanistan beat Taiwan 2-0. Then uh, Niger beat India 2-1, knocking out the favourites. Um, then St. Vincent beat Afghanistan 1-0. Then St. Vincent beat... Niger 2-1 to advance to the finals where they both lost in their respective last games. So that was Croatia versus One Star Teams, arguably one of the most impressive um, ones I've seen uh, in this series. Uh, I can't remember who's next. Um, it, there was a schedule, I'll pin it in the description or something. But if you liked the video, then obviously like it. Subscribe if you're new here with notifications on. That's really important. We've got some good World Cup content coming out in June. Trying to wrap up this series before the before the World Cup at least. This has been Tova Loco. I'll see you again for the next video. And remember to keep it loco.